What's up everybody, I'm James from Supercaz and today I'm going to show you the pro way to wrap your handlebars. What you'll need is a 3mm Allen key to tighten your plugs, a pair of scissors to cut your tape, a pen, and a fresh set of Supercaz bar tape. So let's take a look at what's inside the box. We have two rolls of tape, two screw and plugs, and two pieces of finishing tape. We've already removed the old bar tape, so let's take this chance to inspect our handlebars and make sure all of your wires, hoses, and housing are secure. If anything is loose or out of place, now is the time to secure it with some electrical tape. So let's start wrapping now. Let's begin at the bottom with about a half width off the edge. And already from here, we're angled in a direction going up the bars. So let's go for it. You'll want to pull and keep tension on the tape. Our tape is designed to stretch, so that means it is tunable for how you want the tape to feel on the handlebars. Let's wrap a couple turns and stop for a second so we can install the plugs. We provide these nice screw-in plugs that are easy to install and they're super secure. The reason we install the plug now is in case there was a mistake at the beginning of the wrap. It's a lot easier to rewrap from here as opposed to getting to the end and having to redo the whole thing. Now you can use your 3mm Allen key to tighten the plug. We want to overlap the tape about 7mm and that's pretty much where this cut line is on the bottom side of the bar tape. You can use this as a reference for keeping a consistent distance throughout the wrap. You'll have to compensate a little bit going around the corners since the radius of the bar is tighter on the inside compared to the outside. A key feature of our tape are these super thin edges that engage with each other to really give you a clean and flat finish. Once we get close to the lever body, we'll want to go into a figure of eight pattern. This is the best way to get complete coverage and avoid cluttering up this area. So to do that, we'll go over the top, down around the back, and around the front, all the way around, and then over the top again. Something I want to point out about this area, the hoods have these molded notches that engage with certain holes in the lever body. Notice that I've avoided wrapping over these holes to allow the hoods to properly engage with the lever body. Once we're past the hoods, we'll continue wrapping as before. It's important to keep this consistent overlap and spacing to really maximize the available surface area of our embossed pattern. This texture really comes into play in wet conditions and gives you that extra grip when you really need it. We're almost done here, so it's time to pick an ending point. I'm going to wrap until right before the bars bend, and I've marked that right here. As I cross this point, I'm going to use my pen to mark the crossing point. and then keep wrapping until the tape meets that point again and I will mark that point as well. And now I'll unwrap a little bit and you'll see the two points make a straight line. Go ahead and cut along this imaginary line. We can now end with a nice clean finish. Let's use the Supercast finishing tape provided in the box and apply it to the bar tape only.
There we go. Now we can roll the hoods back and we're all set. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. For more videos, check out Supercast TV and subscribe. We'll see you later.